Hi, today we're going to take a look at some data and make graphs to try and interpret what that information tells us. So first I'm going to graph the date uh, versus this altitude of the sun in the sky. So I'm going to select all of these cells and I'll just select all the way down to there. And then I want to go back up and I want to graph, select, I guess grab all this info. So back up to the top, hold down control and select all of this so you can see it scan way down. I want to get all of that. Now I've got these two columns completely selected. In order to select both of them I had to hold down control after this one so that it didn't get unselected when I selected these. Uh, now I want to insert a graph and a scatter graph is the type for this. And here you can see that this this is what Excel put out for me. It made a guess I was graphing the sun's altitude and these numbers over this as in my x-axis. And it came out pretty nice. Now there's a lot of things that I can do to try and edit this graph and make it look even more like I'd like it to. Uh, and so those are neat things to try. My y-axis, maybe I want to shorten this to 75 and 25 and those be the dimensions that it looks at. So I've selected the axis, now I can hit format axis and I can control lots of things, all sorts of axis options. But I can fix these to whatever I want, like 25 and 75. You can already see in the background, and when I hit enter, that this stuff changed. So here this is just better distributed. It's using the space a little bit more efficiently. And then my dates across the bottom are okay, but maybe I'd like to add minor grid lines. Now the minor grid lines come in between each of the majors, and the majors are the ones that are labeled here, like uh, July 10th, or June 10th, sorry, July 30th, and and then we have, you know, it goes along the bottom here. So each one of these little lines, these are shorter increments. And I can take a look at what those are if I want to. I can come down here and format my axis again. Sorry, that bled off the screen. Uh, but taking a look, it says that my major unit is 50 and my minor unit is 10. So this is the number of days that have passed. And so between each one of these dates is 50 days. And then each one of the little lines represents 10 days. So that gives me a sense for what this is. I can control this if I want to. Uh, so there's a take, taking a look at that. But I want to take a look at other graphs too. So let's graph the date uh, and also graph the, scrolling up to the top, the length of day. So hold down control, scroll, or grab all the day lengths. Now I can insert a graph just for this. So a scatter plot again. But you can see this graph comes out a little weird. Uh, Excel is just guessing at what I'd like graphs to look like, and it doesn't always get it right. So sometimes we need to correct it. And in order to do that, it's best to just take as much control as you can. So select data. I right-clicked, and then select data was an option. And I want to control the series of information that makes it in. So I'm going to edit this and the series name is the length of the day. So I'm going to select that cell. The x-axis values are the values that I'd like to be on the x-axis of my graph. The uh, That would be the dependent dry mix, right? So the independent variable, I always forget, that's okay. The independent variable is going to go on my x and the dependent variable goes on the y. Those are just memorization things. And so there we're good. Oops, I accidentally selected this for the X. Don't want that. And here I can choose my Y values. Now to choose my Y values, it's again, just select your column. So I'll select length of day, select it all the way down, and it's got it. Now it looks like it, it sort of double did it here. So this is a little extra. I just wanted to say from sheet one, grab from D1 to D366. So that's good and it'll do this all up. Now this is a series I could add more if I want and that would put more than one thing on my graph and then here's what it's going to show in the horizontal although it'll probably skip over date. Uh, so I do this and now I can come back down to where my graph was and if you see there it goes. So oh it did have a date thing here so maybe I want to edit my data sets that's okay no problem I can just edit this and instead of starting at A1 let's start at A2 and instead of D1 let's go to D2 that takes it down out of the headings and you'll see that go away as soon as I click
So it went from 0 to 915. So now I've got red of date, and it's a little bit better. All of this is just playing with the little things until it works out. So now this is much more organized. Here I have a length of day graph that's nice and even. It's exactly what I want. It's not just a dot. Uh, and I could change some settings. There's a lot of layout you can play with and format if you want to make it look nice and design, you know, all these different settings to play with. But mostly I have information that I can interpret. So with that, hope you have fun.